This morning in our Eye on Money series, we are looking at how buying habits can affect your credit score and your ability to borrow money. A recent creditcards.com survey found a large majority of Americans with debt would not be willing to cut spending on leisure travel, on clothing, or on shoes by 50%. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger is here with how these choices can impact your credit. If you're not willing to cut, you are going to spend, <laughs> your bill will increase. That could hurt your score, right? Right, and, and so we should just make a distinction because people get really confused. There is credit report, there is a credit score. They're different. So we have companies that compile all of your information. Basically, do you pay your bills on time? How much credit do you have? Those kinds of statistics. And the big three are Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. Yeah. They put all the information together. Sometimes they sell it to different vendors, but they usually are putting it towards someone who's putting together a score, like FICO is really the most famous one. And that and, score could really hurt you if it's low. Well, that score is basically saying to the world, you are credit worthy or not so credit worthy. Right. You should extend credit or not to this person. So if you want to buy a car, you want to buy, you want a mortgage for a house, the, that score is critical. Yeah, it's not only a, a car or a house. Interesting, it can be used for insurance purposes. Mm -hmm. Some employers, you use uh, a skinny down credit reporting in certain states, they can use that. So it's important to have good credit and make sure there's no errors on those reports. How often should you check your credit score? Well, there is a great website called annualcreditscore.com and annual is the good time so you get it free every year you should check that because you want to clarify if there are any errors you want to get them off remember if your score is artificially low it's going to cost more to borrow money yeah. and you know scoring goes from uh, 300 to 850 no one has a 300 by the way but it, it really sure it, <laughs> uh, we'll talk about you later i'm pulling yours right now but it is important because the lower your score the more it costs to borrow money what do you mean by artificially low? I mean, what, what are the causes that would, would drop it down, and how do you get it back up? If so it is if, down? if you saw an error on a credit report, and it might have said, you've got an outstanding credit card balance of blank, let's just call it $3,000, $4,000, $5,000, and you say, wait a second, I paid that off. Your score could be down because that error has not been cleaned uh, up. Yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. 670 is this magic line. Below 670, it costs more to borrow. 670 to about 740 is considered good or very good. And Anthony, you'll be happy to know, I'm sure you're sporting that more than 800. Oh, yeah. 800 Must be up there. is considered excellent. And here's the problem if you don't have good credit. When you need it, it's hard to actually drive that score what up. What do you do to drive the score up? The most important factor is pay your bills on time. And mm -hmm. that may seem silly, but even if you could just audit, if you're carrying credit card debt, I'm, I don't care why you got into it, but if you have it, automate your bill paying so you can get that bill paid on time. So there are five different factors. Paying your bill on time is the most important. How much credit you have available to you. If you use too much of your available credit, it counts against you. Yeah. And weirdly, in some instances, if you close a credit card account, mm -hmm. it can sometimes yeah. drive down your score. It's very strange. So if you want to get rid of that credit card that's outstanding, just put it in the back of your drawer. Don't worry about it. Don't go and cancel it. Quickly, Jill, how long typically does it take to bring down a score? Um, it, it, as, as most things, it goes down faster than it goes up. Even people, though, who have declared bankruptcy, it can take a lot less time just to get yourself back on track. Pay attention to this. Again, it drives many decisions in your financial life. For the record, I'm in the sevens. Uh -huh. Oh, not, wow. Good for you. Around. Can we sing about that? <laughs> it goes, down, you it right goes now. down faster than it goes up. Are you going to say good, hi to my mother? Or I not? will. Hi, what, what camera is on me? Hi, Susan. There you go. <laughs> Jill is a wonderful guest. We appreciate having her on every morning. Thank you, you for sharing her, Susan. You did a very good job. <laughs> Thank you.